Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here. Samsung to challenge Apple. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. Samsung is on a roll lately. A couple of days ago we saw that Samsung was able to retain the number one spot in smartphone rankings after selling over 80 million smartphones in quarter three of the year. Even surpass shall mean the Indian market to regain the top spot after losing it nearly three years ago. Not only that they even recorded the highest revenue in the history of their company at $59 billion. Finally, the Galaxy S20 devices were the most popular 5G-enabled phones beating the likes of Mi, 30, and B40 series from Walmart, and now it certainly looks like Samsung has their eyes set up to conquer the tablet market, as well, a segment where Apple has been literally dominating for years. We have data for the tablet market for quarter 3 of this year, which shows that demand for tablets is growing as a Floyd. I guess much of it has to do with the pandemic faced by people all over the world, Apple was able to take the first part with 13.9 million sales, and improvement on on the other hand, which ranks third. Last year was able to take the second spot with 9.4 million sales, with a massive growth of 89% year over year gaining an additional 4.4 million sales, over the 5 million shipments last year, was that Samsung was able to reduce the gap between them, and Apple answered that less than 10% gap in market share for the proposition Samsung launched multiple tablets in that time frame that made this possible, but for found great success with the Galaxy Tab, a 7 Duel, which is the best Android tablet money can buy, and arguably the Camera 7 Plus is the best cabinet out there, Samsung has been trying to elbow its way into the tablet conversation for years, but it's never quite reached the level of Apple in terms of popularity, but with today's numbers, it seems that is changing, and Samsung might even do the impossible and take the crown of the world's biggest tablet baker from Apple, something absolutely no one saw coming just a few days. A Go Galaxy S21 lineup has already entered the mass production stays, which is again a month and a half earlier than usual, reassuring Samsung is launching the devices early this time, also have information about when to release the handset to the public. According to South Korean media Samsung will launch the S21 in mid-January, and it will be available in stores either at the end of January or the first week of February, also have information about the Exodus 1080, an upper mid-range processor from Samsung that has better and to-do scores than this year's top-of-the-line Snapdragon 865 Plus Samsung, will keep an online event to launch this new chipset on November 12th, like I should never say Samsung keeping a dedicated event to launch this chipset likely means that they are serious about their chip division and have made significant improvements to take on Qualcomm's chipsets, speaking of chipsets. We also have an alleged benchmark 3 Snapdragon 800 shows export 847,000 points in and to the much higher than its predecessor, which currently pops the charts with 663,000 points, that a jump of over 25% is usually for a yearly upgrade. But really Samsung is gaining ways to the top in smartphone world. Well that is it guys, do you think Samsung will beat Apple in the international market later run, let me see your comment below. Please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one piece.